Welcome to another episode of the Black Swan Podcast. That's B L A C K S W A A N. I'm your host, Anwar Snuffy Dog Smith. I'm here with Island Fantasy Viewers. We got Smoothie in the building. We're here to talk week 10 football. Well, we ain't going to talk. <laughs> it's a Panthers game. Nope, we got to just gotta, accept that. Nah, Steelers gotta, look really that, good. Oh, the Yo, cut ass. Yeah, Steelers look really good. Cut but right there, it's like, you know, nah. snowball effect. When that interception happened with Cam in the in the backfield, I was like he didn't want to take the safety, so he threw the interception. After that happened, then they came on the field and scored again. It was it. That was that was it. Nothing else they could do. I'm surprised he scored one more time. I'm surprised Panthers scored one more time. Yeah, but so that's not was, a fair was, assessment was on my team. It was ugly. It was ugly. It was ugly. I don't know what Cam was thinking. Was but Benham was on one though. It yeah, yeah, that was a whole other thing. It was on one. Was one was it was so wild. I hear your boy might not even be coming back. He probably about to sit out the whole year. Levy on Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. So it was that. just like a small find a loophole. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out in all these years a franchise tagging. How in this year? They find a whole loophole. That shit is be getting updated every so often, you know, so it's just like, I can't say what it is exactly how they figure that shit out, but basically from what I was hearing them say, it's just that he's gonna lose a year and um, that could count towards this unrestricted free agency. But I still feel like the relationship in and of itself is over, so. The Panthers, not the Panthers, the the Steelers just gonna let him go wherever. But they can't waive him. They gonna have to keep him or trade him. No, he could he could be a restricted free agent. I think something like that. Right, but they so they either have the choice of trading him or they have to keep him. No, they have to. He could get. They have to. They have the first right of refusal, which basically means they could match. A offer he get if he get all oh, he could get an offers from other teams. Fine, okay, okay. but and then they would have to say like, all right, we could pay you the same amount of money or more, or I'll let you, or we have to let you go. Which ain't probably gonna happen anyway. Yeah, but it depends on how much money people offer him. But they ain't need a menu, baby. James Conner just be breaking records. You he, don't see? he looked like he had a little concussion, but if he didn't have a concussion, <laughs> he would have killed them records. But yeah, yeah I was like, what the hell see, going we on? Gonna see, we gonna but see. Wait, can we move on from that game? Definitely. Thank you. Hell, definitely. Thank you. Right, definitely. Who we got next? We got to talk about motherfucking my boy Baker Mayfield. Shout out to Browns. I don't know if there's any real Browns fans out there, but shout out to y'all. Shout out my boy Baker Mayfield. He was out there doing his thing he with dangerous. the wins. He was dangerous. You ever woke up in the morning and felt dangerous? Like you ever woke up in the morning and felt dangerous? That's how I woke up this morning. That's how wake Baker Mayfield woke up on Sunday. Shit. Yeah, he definitely went out there, did what he had to do. Atlanta been looking a little sloppy though. I mean, I feel like your boy is kind of working through some injury issues. Who's Devin your boy? Coleman, oh. uh, the replacement for Devontae Freeman. Shout out Devontae Freeman, fantasy owners. I feel your pain. You <laughs> got to stick together. You know, it's been a rough year, especially if you had him as a keeper. But um, I don't know, man. Matt Ryan, I don't know what's going on. I feel like after the week of Julio Jones finally getting this touchdown is going to be able to build on that. And it's like, I ain't trying to disrespect the Browns. You know I love the Browns. I fucks with them, but it's the Browns. It's like use the Falcons, bro. I expect you to put up more than what was it, 19 points. The Browns still got their coach. No, no. probably they that's got a why. whole. They got a whole. That's probably that's why. They got some whole new shit. Going imagine on. you know I wasn't gonna watch this game, but when I, I saw, saw the, the highlights of the game, I was like, you think you got 28 points? And shout out my boy Nick Chubb. Finally putting in work. Well, not finally. He been doing his thing, Loki. It really took Hugh Jackson leaving for him to really get out there and do what he had to do. He had two touchdowns, one rushing, one receiving. He's a really like a dual threat. He do it all type back. And then you got your boy Duke Johnson and backing up. Cleveland is nice. Cleveland is Baker nice. Baker Mayfield at 100% possible. Don't really do it. Basically, 17 or 20, something like that. Yes, dog. Like, yeah, baby, but you can make, yeah, 17 to 20, 216 yards, three passing touchdowns, no interceptions. You see what I'm saying? Six rushes for 20 yards, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was out there putting in that work. Shout out to that Cleveland Browns defense, too, you know? But I ain't gonna lotion them up too much. We can move on. We can move on. Motherfucking New Orleans, bro. I don't, I don't even want to talk with them neither, but because they look like they're going to win the Super Bowl now. Yeah. Because, like, not only did the Patriots get washed, yeah. and then I say New Orleans put up 51 points. Hey, one time, though, fuck the Cowboys. 
I gotta chew it up. Eagles was his fly tonight. I gotta chew it up for my boy Dez, I might be so much trash about the Cowboys last week. And then they come out and wash your team. Bro, it wasn't a wash. Get the fuck out of here. It wasn't a you wash. Wasn't it? I watched it. Looked, it was looking it like, it it looking like Eagles wash, didn't know bro. what to do. It wasn't a wash. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Cowboys that's land. why we lost. Cowboys we didn't know what to do. We, we didn't okay. know what to do, and that's why we lost. All right. Like I was, I was shocked at our defense for one. You know what I'm saying? Like I was really shocked that we allow the motherfucking Cowboys to like do all of that. But when you really sit down and think about it, the 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 meat of our defense is that front seven, and once you can get past them, our secondary is shit. Like we playing one starter from the beginning of the season is left in our secondary, and that's all the safeties and cornerbacks. You see what I'm saying? That could be like up to five defensive backs in the field. One starter left in the beginning of the season. So it's like... It sounds like a lot of excuses for the, for the Eagles. Oh no, we both to. We both like to Cowboys, look struggling. Cowboys wasn't doing nothing spectacular in the game. Not really, no. no. no, no I no. still, I don't believe him. That's why I said. Nasty. Nasty. Yeah, but we knew that. But <laughs> we knew that. You see, you see, you see him jump that nigga. Uh, oh, that's, that was nasty. We got jump that nigga for a lot. I that, hope that play. We gonna put that up. 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 That was nasty. He clean jumping. It was crazy. Heard him like it was a smooth hurdle. Like yo, I felt that in my soul. I was like, oh my god, it's that type of night. It's that type of fucking. One of the announcers said, "Imagine going to you with a tackle of 250 pound man, and you jump and lunge at him, and then realize you touch nothing, <laughs> and just with the breeze of your head, wait. Imagine hitting the floor, though." Bro, that was yeah. That was that was sick. That was sick. But yeah, though, uh, yeah, but Des Bryant torn ACL. That's sad. like in practice. That's sad. In fucking practice. I was there though. happy because, like, I was happy that he get on the Saints because I was like, yeah, boy, Des gonna prove him wrong. Yeah, yeah. Drew Brees gonna fuck him up. Probably looking real good. Super Bowl. Nah, they gonna fuck it up. Brandon Marshall got that spot. I want the, the funniest shit. Like, like, like no one big receiver. Yo, Brandon Marshall has never played in the playoffs. And this is like 12th yeah. year in the fucking The Bears have made the playoffs, yeah, he's on the Bears. Never. Oh, he's oh. never played in the playoffs. That's blowing my fucking mind. That was wild. Got it this year. I, I <laughs> got it this yeah. year. Yeah, you know, Look so. Look the way the Saints get so good. The offense was always good. You just needed the defense to catch up. They fired their defensive coordinator, I think, sometime last season. And so, and ever since then, they've been really doing what they got to do. But like, Drew Brees is Drew Brees. And that two-headed mm -hmm. motherfucking... Running back monster fucking machine, dog. Kamara had two touchdowns. Ingram had a touchdown. You see what I'm saying? Drew Brees throwing it all over the motherfucking place. It's like it's nothing you could do with fucking. Did Ingram just come back from injury or something like that? I don't know. He been he been playing for like a couple weeks. Uh, he might have been out for. A he had a hundred yard game. game just now. Yeah, but it's like, just it's just, just been. They just been looking unstoppable. I mind. They saying? had they had one, two, three, seven niggas rushing, dog. They rush seven niggas. Yeah, it's no joke. But I guess in the blow game, you can start throwing anybody in. That's true. It's no joke. It's no joke. And, 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 like I said, these games, like, oh, the Bills? What you think about the Bills? Oh, no. bro. Like, we ain't got to talk about them too much. It's like, it's, it's blowing my mind. The Bills could find offensive players to score 50-something points, 41, bro. 41. Oh, they scored 41. I thought they scored 50. But, like, yo. And like the defense is like nasty. Like the Jets, I don't expect the Jets to have no super offense, but it's just like you got players on your team, you know what I'm saying? It's just like be fucking about something. You know what I'm who, who the hell is Matt Barkley? <laughs> Shout out USC Trojans. He he he's a he he been in the league a couple years, but he ain't never really make no noise. You know, he ain't really know. Still ain't making doing. no noise. I, no. That 41 he, points make a little noise, but then yeah. he ain't making no noise. Yeah. You did say that, that um what is that Vikings game? No, that Seahawks game. Versus yeah, that was gonna be nice, right? You say it was gonna be nice. It I, actually was a close I game. I tell you that, boy. I told you that, bro. Because that Seahawks defense is nasty and Russell Wilson is still going there and do amazing things. They just don't talk about it. Cause it is don't be nothing pretty. Ram scraping wins now, bro. Yeah, yeah. they winning. Cause they the defense, scraping wins defense, now. defense, and then your boy Cooper Cup got fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he yeah, out. Shout out my boy Cooper night. Cup. Uh, looking so, bro. It's looking so, man. It's not looking. It's not looking too good. But I still got faith in that, that offense, though. Need to say stuff like this. Cooper Cup is playing against me next week in the fantasy team. I mean, this week coming up. You have Cooper Cup? 
Oh, oh no, 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 no. I thought I think I'm at Cooper Cup. I, 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 I don't know. I probably haven't been in another league. Yeah, but I thought I lured ship at Cooper Cup. Now I got to go check probably. that now. Probably. But yeah, but I, I'm at. I'm at. I'm at. Yeah, but that, I, I, I feel like he kind of rushed back, but you know, it's, it is what it is. You like, um, know you like your cucks, Brandon Cox. Yeah, yeah, I never was drafting, but I, I do like his game. I think the Rams still going. Like, they still good for 30-something points a game. It's just that they got to get that defense together. But the defense is looking nice, though. Aaron Donald had a nice little game, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they didn't they didn't, they didn't, didn't stop them from scoring 30-something. But, you know, but they're still pulling it out. Moments and stuff. Yeah. But you can't be playing for moments. That's why I'm scared about the rounds when you get in the playoffs, dog. You mess up on one moment, and that's you, you shit. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened to the Saints. That's what happened with them in the Saints. Saints. Uh, yeah, but I feel like Goff got it together this another year. You see what I'm saying? The defensive line has gotten upgraded. Like, it's just getting it to pull together. I feel like the Rams are definitely going to make some noise in the playoffs. I feel like we may see them in, in the Saints in the NFC Championship. Oh. Not the NFC, the, uh, yeah, the NFC Championship game. What we got to talk about before we get into the Chiefs? I'm going to talk about this Titans-Patriots field. Oh, yeah, let's motherfucking talk about it. I had a fucking amazing day on Monday. You know what I'm saying? I ended up having to go home. We had a little half-day situation at work. BEC decided they wanted to fucking change the transformer. I had the whole block power off. I go to the barber shop. Lo and behold, who's fucking in there? The biggest Patriots fan in motherfucking Nassau. He was quiet as a motherfucking mouse. You know why? Because they waxed that fucking ass. The Titans waxed that motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? And niggas wasn't even expecting it. Looks, I was just talking about, I was just talking shit about my nigga last week. This nigga has fucking nerve damage in his motherfucking elbow, and he is out there waxing Tom Brady's Mariota. ass. Mariota, bro. Mariota. I, and I ain't mad. We called that win last week a fluke. And then they come back and wax the Patriots. Yeah, bro. Where they, they record is now? Where they, where they record is now? Uh, they about to be five, they five and four. They five and four. They five and four. And you know what's going to be nice? The Colts four and five. Same division. They playing this week. Mm -hmm. We going to get to that. Definitely going to watch We going to get to that. We going to get to that. Now we can talk about the Chiefs game. Now we can talk about that Chiefs game. No, I got one more start for that ass. I got one more start for that ass. Oh, yeah. They only sacked Brady three times. But they boy, it they looked like more. <laughs> and they, they had Brady all the punk up. Pressure, it was pressure. They had them all the punk up. But yeah, though, shout out that Titans defense, top three defense. Top. I heard your boy was saying it's a top defense in the NFL. I don't know. I like to give it some room to argue, but they definitely a top three defense. They're not three. And then which? Oh, boom! You watched that 49ers Giants game? I didn't, and you know why? Because I didn't think it was going to be that much scoring in it. It wasn't really, I mean, that as much as it was. I thought it was going to be like one of them like 6-13 games or some fuck like that. Oh, okay, you know what okay. I'm saying? Because it's like, shout out fucking Matt Breida. You know what I'm saying? He out there doing this thing for the 49ers running back. I, I don't know what the Giants do, but they open up the offense. Bro, Eli Manning is a nigga. He going to get. I fucks with a nigga like Eli. Let me tell you why I fucks with a nigga like Eli. No one else fucks with Eli. I fucks with a nigga like Eli because it's like, wait. He can just be like, wait, y'all think ain't nothing fucking happening? But wait, don't fucking pressure me, dog. Because when I fucking pressure it, shit can happen. I go down, what? Show three touchdown on your fucking ass. You see what I'm saying? Y'all want fucking talk, but I can't play football. This my last start. What's going to happen in the season? All fucking right. I still is a man at Get the win. You see what I'm saying? So I fucks with a nigga like that, dog. You see what I'm saying? He used to be all lost up. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure where he was going with this. This nigga still got two Super Bowls, dog. And that's all you can talk about because he's going to over this year. Come on. I, nigga ain't playing next year. Nigga, you could get to the playoffs eight and eight in our division. All right. So you ain't that far out of it. I right? even, this man, but he love to go win two playoff games. <laughs> stay, stay that quarterback next year. You see two, you see two playoff wins? Wait, I mean they got I, they got the pieces. I am they got the pieces the against Eli Manning. What I would bet against though is that defense. Uh, now if I could see some more improvement in that defense, I don't think so. Then yeah, but I but Eli Manning is make fucking magic happen in the playoffs. But you don't don't bet against him. They got pieces now. He'll fuck up. He'll fuck around and fall ass backwards, literally into a Super Bowl win against Tom fucking Brady twice. Who does that? 
Come on, bro. That boy got the shine. Alright, then. Hey, boy, y'all like we're going these Super Bowl wins, boy. When this was, we <laughs> get these <laughs> again. Remind me. <laughs> Babe, the Giants been shitty for years. But when we get these ones, he went these two. two. Uh, that was 08 and that was 2012-ish. Well, I know some people, because you know, you know, you know, we got these Patriots fans out there. Shout out Lambo. We got these Patriots fans out there. That's all they could ever talk about, but he lied. So you gotta give them something. Yeah. Let them know the history, man. The stats. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but Eli's fucking Tom Brady. Nigga might not make the Hall of Fame with two Super Bowl wins. I hear they was having that discussion over the weekend. They was talking about Probably not. Yeah, he might not make the Hall of Fame with two Super Bowl wins. He ain't gonna be no first ballot. He ain't gonna be no first ballot. But anyway, we getting besides the point. Yes, yes, yes. Now, we, can we get into this Chiefs game? It sounds like you don't want to talk about this. I mean, like, what's really to talk about? The Chiefs beat the Cardinals. Did you really expect the Cardinals to fucking beat the Chiefs? Close no. than I thought. I expected the Chiefs to have more fucking points on the board, correct. But at the end of the day, it's the Chiefs. They win a game. What is wet? What's, like, all right, all right, what, what are we really doing here? You know what I'm saying? Like, we, like we, we unnecess unnecessarily lotioning these niggas. We want to throw some highlights on the game board. Did anything magical happen? At the end of the day, they fucking won, boy. Like, I'm getting kind of tired of it now because it's like someone fucking challenged them, boy. Because it's like, really? You got the fucking Cardinals fucking playing these niggas now? It's just like... You can't ride the excitement, though. It's just like... like, it, like I feel like the reason I go watch, watch the games, games now, they, they're exciting to watch. Why would I go and watch that, bro? Like, I expected it to be a complete wash. I, I knew there were going to be more exciting games on. So it's just like, what the fuck? And then the last thing I want to talk about, Fitzmagic. It was, Fitz Magic was in Magic today. It, you know what's so fucking crazy? Like, this nigga threw for over 400 yards. You would, would, would you believe that? Not, not with six points. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this nigga threw for over 400 yards, bruv. And it's just like, how the fuck does no one score? Two interceptions to stop that. Two interceptions to stop that. You know, so it's just like, yeah. yeah watching the Reds games or something like, but Alex Smith just fucking, like, is it him? No. Is it him? No. I mean, he, 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 he was on the Chiefs. Points, he was bro. on the Chiefs. Nice. Now nah, he on the Redskins, six and three. Like, is it Alex Smith? No. I think everybody always trying to watch Alex Smith. Now Alex Smith leading another team. They ain't making the playoffs. The Red, you don't like to say Redskins. The Washington football team look like they about to make the playoffs. Probably. But I mean, like I say, the NFC East is always wide open. Don't count us out. Don't count the Cowboys out. Don't count Washington out. Don't even count the Giants out. It's always going to be a struggle. And we ain't even really getting to all our division games yet. And who, and who is the most confident team in the, in the division right now? The, 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 I'd say the Washington team. Cowboys, Cowboys just get them a fresh win. Eagles just get them a fresh loss. Yeah, we ain't confident. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, who the most confident team? It's between right? the Cowboys and Washington. All right. It's between the Cowboys and Washington. You know what I'm saying? Boy, we were so quick to shit on the Cowboys, but last week we was talking shit on the Cowboys. Then they gone having a nice ass game against, <laughs> you know. Who like I said, I don't know what we doing. We gonna figure it out, fly Eagles, spy. You know, it's never no fuck. I think we got, oh no, we ain't talking about that Parker stuff. No, yeah, we didn't motherfucking talk about it. I was just, I'm glad you brought it up. Put the fucking meme in the fucking back of me. I'm glad you brought it up. I was waiting to motherfucking talk about it. You motherfucking Aaron Rodgers came. I said it. This I fucking this said it. I said it. And you was like, oh, the Dolphins. The, 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 ah, fuck that shit. Fuck the noise. Fuck the noise. What they was going to do? What they was going to do? A good fight. I didn't think they was going to win. I'm very sure if we could pull up dates. I didn't think they was going to win. I said they was going to pull up a good game and it wasn't that good of a game. But. Nah, hey, and shout out to all the people who believe that dumb shit about Kenyon Drake being the number one running back. Frank God's about to break, go into the, well, he, we know he's going in all of it. He broke some fucking record on Sunday, you know what I'm saying? But they really been using the two of them uh, in a kind of like running back by committee system. And I think your boy just got injured, Kenyon Drake, or some shit like that. I don't know. I'll have him check that. I'll have him check yeah, that. Yeah, but, put you know, that up on the we, yeah, so. Make, make a note of that producer. You owe me a free pack. Ah, so we even now, uh, we even now. Uh, yeah. We, uh, boom. Yeah. We, we, we wash our eyes. I, did I say we pull up the tapes? Did I say Dolphins oh, going to yes. win that game? Yes. Yes, I think I did. Now, yes. now that I think I about it. I don't know why you, you brought, brought so the three pack. In now that you brought up the three pack. I don't know why you're so confident in that shit. I got to start writing these shits down. 
I'm start writing these shits down. So I think we covered all the games. Yeah, it wasn't nothing enough to really talk uh, about. You did say it wasn't going to be a sexy week. So, so, and it start, the week started off with the Panthers getting blow the fuck out. So I really yeah. was off football for the weekend. <laughs> I was really catching up on certain games I know we talk yeah. about. Yeah, I didn't, low key, I didn't even watch all of our game. I kind of fell asleep. I was super tired. Who, I wouldn't have stayed awake for that shit. But, that, that shit either. Yeah, I mean. Doc was, was trying to give it to y'all. If you, Doc was trying to give it to y'all. Like, because he's not a good fucking quarterback. The Cowboys are not that good of a team, bro. Ooh, wait, but like, we really about? don't know what we doing. What, why Derek Carr throw the, 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 the ball away in the fourth down of the game? He didn't even try to make an attempt. Oh, oh did you ever watch John Gruden, no, I didn't. Oh, I yeah, didn't even but, know that happened. Oh, oh yeah, you know, I forgot happen. I wanted to talk about this. There was a statement I'd like to make. John Gruden is systematically uh, tearing down the Raiders. Like, it is his intention to completely dismantle the team into nothingness. And I don't understand what major plan he has for the draft, but this dude legit got like four or five first round draft picks, and he is intentionally trying to secure the number one draft pick this year. Like, like these niggas ain't even hiding it no more. Yeah, I, I think it's too late to hide it now. I think you can see it in the players, though. Like, Derek Carr literally said, fuck it, instead of trying to, like, if you throw a Hail Mary interception, it don't even matter trying to win the game. This nigga literally said, fuck it, throw it on the ground, fourth down, game over. Wow. <laughs> I was like, god damn. Like, imagine, I was like, god damn. But yeah, but I think we covered all the games now, for sure, for sure. Uh, that is the week 10 review. Wasn't that good of a week. Fuck them Steelers, but they nice. Fuck them Saints, but they super nice. Rams and Chiefs, y'all wasn't as exciting as we thought y'all was gonna be. Dolphin fans, I had hope. Cowboys, Cowboys. fans, woo! Eagles, learn how to fly next week. But uh, this is the Black Swan Podcast, that's B-L-A-C-K-S-W-A-A-N. We're here with Islands and Island Fantasy viewers, blogger Smoothie. Until next time, until we get on that week 11 preview. Peace.